We should go ahead and buy everything. Here. U.S. Marshals and local law enforcement found the 38 year old Schrenker huddled inside a tent at a North Florida campground. They caught him, CBS News learned, after tracing this email he sent to a friend. Schrenker was bleeding from his wrist after a supposed suicide attempt. This, the latest twist in a story of a man who faked his own death in a stunt straight out of a bad movie. There was a lot of blood. It was apparent that Mr. Schrenker had been bleeding for some time there in his tent before law enforcement arrived. On Sunday, Schrenker, a daredevil pilot whose exploits are chronicled on YouTube, flew in a private plane from Indiana to Florida. Over Alabama, he radioed a phony distress call before parachuting from this plane that would soon crash in a North Florida swamp. Schrenker later emerged from the woods 200 miles away, soaking wet, telling local police he'd been in a canoeing accident. After checking into this Florida hotel, Schrenker slipped away, reappearing at this storage shed before roaring off in a motorcycle he'd stashed days before as part of his great escape. Best way to describe it, um, right now he's our own little Bernie Madoff. Schrenker had plenty of reasons to run. He's currently under investigation in Indiana for insurance fraud, accused of excessively trading clients' investments in order to fatten his fees by hundreds of thousands of dollars. By the time authorities arrived at Schrenker's $4 million home, he'd long since disappeared, leaving behind a trail of broken trust and distraught clients. You haven't been built until you were built by Marcus Schrenker. Schrenker is now under arrest in a Florida hospital where he is recovering from self-inflicted wounds. The real pain felt by those who trusted their money with what one former client called a pathological liar. So in the world of Bernie Madoff, we can now add the name Marcus Schrenker at a time when it seems financial fraudsters are literally falling from the sky. Armin Katayan, CBS News, New York.